talking about that one for a while. Uh, thank you so much to John for a great ride through the history of tech, really since the internet era. Um, some really insightful comparisons between where we are now and where we were then. Your take on what's going to happen with crypto and what entrepreneurs need to do during increasingly uncertain times. Your energy and passion are undiluted. It's great to see you out and uh, we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you again, John. So our next presenter is Claudio Rojas, who will be presenting the Visionary Award. Claudio is the CEO of the National Angel Capital Organization, NACO, uh, where he leads 4,200 angel investors that have invested over 1.12 billion into more than 1,500 portfolio companies. Claudio. That's all right. <laughs> so thank you everyone again for being here. And John and Anne, really insightful conversation. Uh, I didn't realize I'd be hearing about crypto and real estate and, and if you've had conversations with John before, they're always really, really prescient in terms, of, um, in terms of predicting the future. So thank you, John, and it's great to see you in person. The Latham Startups team has been attracting world-class entrepreneurs to Canada for many, many years. They work so hard. And I've had conversations with many of you today, and it is extraordinary the work that you're doing to drive the economic engine of Canada forward. It's amazing to see, so thank you. I'm Claudio Rojas, CEO of the National Angel Capital Organization. I'm, I haven't spoken in Spanish in a while, pero soy de origen venezolano y es maravilloso. Estar con tantos Latinoamericanos and Brazilians here in person that are so, that, que son tan impresionante. No, nací en Canadá, as you can probably tell by my accent. <laughs> Pero les invito a que se conecten conmigo en español. Tengo que practicar el idioma. I need to practice my Spanish. NACO, for those of you that don't know, is Canada's professional association for angel investors. We were established 20 years ago, and we've been the pioneers of access to capital in Canada. So we have 4,000 members across the country that have invested 1.12 billion into more than 1,500 companies. We're just about to announce our numbers for last year, and we have, um, I don't want to give it away, but we, but we have some very, very uh, interesting stats to present in, in a couple of weeks. As Miriam uh, mentioned at the outset, actually, you know, one of the things that we also do is we're a proud partner of the Government of Canada with the Startup Visa Program, which attracts high potential entrepreneurs to Canada, some of you. And as Miriam mentioned from the outset, there have been immigration delays, and it's impacted, of course, the Startup Visa Program as well, and that has been compounded by the global health pandemic and the Ukraine crisis that has also touched all of our lives. And I can tell you from behind the scenes, as a partner of the federal government, that they are working very hard to clear the immigration delays. And I can tell you from the NACO perspective that we have made recommendations to immigration, refugees, and Citizenship Canada that not only will address the backlogs, but can potentially accelerate the migration of high potential entrepreneurs to Canada in a way in which we've never seen before. And so the future of the program will be much more exciting than the past, and I am excited about what's to come with the Startup Visa program. The Visionary Award is a really exceptional one. It recognizes an organization that is a champion of diversity and inclusion in the tech ecosystem, which we know helps drive growth, and not only growth, but inclusive growth. Past recipients include Helix at Seneca, the City of Toronto, the DMZ, at Toronto Metropolitan University, formerly known 
as Ryerson and NACO. And it's a privilege as a past recipient of the Visionary Award to announce this year's award recipient. Without giving up the name, just yet, this year's award recipient has done phenomenal work and they've been a partner of NACO and, I, and I've worked quite closely with their CEO and with their team. And, they, and I can say that they do amazing work in helping to create the conditions for economic growth in Canada so that high potential entrepreneurs can achieve their full potential here. And this year's award recipient, by supporting, by supporting international companies to establish their businesses in Canada, is they really do epitomize the essence of the award, which is about helping to drive our innovation ecosystem forward in a really big way. And so it's a privilege to announce that this year's award recipient is OCI, the Ontario Centre of Innovation. And on behalf of OCI, I believe we have Claudia Kriviak in the audience. So Claudia is here to accept the award. Can I give you this? Thank you. I just want to say a, a few words. Um, thank you, Claudio, and also thank you to, to Ladam. It is our um, honor and really extraordinary privilege to be able to support international entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs from all walks of life. Diversity is incredibly important. It's important for business and it's important for growth. Diversity unlocks tremendous potential in terms of talent um, and opportunity. And I think today's conference just demonstrates how truly powerful um, a tech ecosystem that is inclusive and diverse can be. Once again, thank you very much.